Miami Vice. She's ready to party. <laughs> it's always ready to party. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So I'm back in the truck as you guys can see and not for long and I'm gonna bring you guys into a whole nother side of my world that you guys have not seen yet. I don't know if you can see the little picture of Nash, but that's there. I also have a really good friend of mine that you guys have not met. His name is Nito. I've been friends with Nito for how long now? Oh, that's Nito. Geez, since 2000 and probably what, uh, nine? High school friends. So yeah, I mean, I was, I'm 28 now. So Jeez, since 16, so yeah. 12 years or so. So I've been friends with him a while. He's been around, so he's taking the trip down with me. We are going down to my shore house. So I live in central Jersey, but I, we also, the family has a house down on the water. When you're down on the water, you gotta have toys. So we have uh, a speedboat, we have a 35 foot fountain, we have two jet skis, we have a bunch of play toys that down there. So it's that time of the year that, oh boy, we need to go down and get everything ready. So they're down there already. They're getting the house open and power washing the house and doing all that thing. My job every year is to get the fountain ready. So I got to go down, change the oil, uh, fuel filter, stuff like that. You know, do kind of a once over and make sure everything's good. So we're going to go and hang out at the marina today and get all that switched over. Uh, we have a dresser in the back of the truck that needs to go down there. So it is, it's summertime. So like I said, this is, we're gonna be bonsaiing in the summertime and you guys are gonna see a whole nother side of my life that you guys probably have no idea about yet. So go there, I'll show you around and show you the boat. It's a 90, I always forget the year. I think it's a 95, 35 foot with twin 502s, nothing crazy. Um, I'll tell you more about it once we get there, but it matches, and I just realized this right now, the color scheme on it matches my old, the 97, the old sled, the white and the... Oh, the throwback. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it that. literally matches it to a T, which I just thought about. So I will show you guys when we get there. There's no oil change without going to Wally World. I love Wally World. I do too, honestly, it's the best store in the world. Everyday low prices. And this, you, these are the super centers too, so you yeah. can't... We can get lost in here. Classic. Never fails when you need 14 quarts of something and normally Walmart has whatever you need and they only have 10 quarts. So we use 1550 full synthetic mobile one in this bad boy. So now I gotta go to another store. Here we go again. All right, so we are at the marina. We are already here because I needed to see what oil that I normally use and I, of course I forgot per usual, and I bet our parking spot's taken. This place is packed. Ah, here we are. It's Miami Vice. Miami Vice to the T. Let me park this monster and then we'll... Here we are. So this is the babe. We bought it. Now I'll tell you the whole story once we get inside. We just unshrink wrapped it, so it is dirty inside. We gotta clean it. That's not today's job, that's another guy or another day. But we'll get up there and show you inside. <clears throat> My Annie Vice. <laughs> She's ready to party. <laughs> it's always ready to party. Yeah, you're tall enough to get those. <sighs> 
and there we have it. Here's the interior. So we bought this, oh man, I think four years ago now, and uh, motors were supposedly redone. Ended up not being done, so we had to pull the motors, redo it. We were just gonna get it running and then sell it, and then we started enjoying it and having a good time with it, so now we kept it. Uh, but it is for sale. Everything's always for sale. But right now we're just enjoying it, and if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I gotta turn the batteries on, that normally helps. So see how mildew is. Last year was really bad because the weather was so crappy. And there we have it, boys and girls. So they're twin 502 Mercs, uh, carbureted, naturally aspirated, nothing crazy. They are just plain Jane Merc motors. There's nothing snazzy about them. They were originally the blue Mercs. There you go by blue. But we got everything powder coated. The, uh, the headers are CMI headers. They I don't know the size of them. But they are marine headers, so they're, uh, man, I'm drawing a total blank on everything that I had planned to say here. They're water jacketed. There we go. So water runs through them. If you guys aren't boat people, water runs through the runners on the outsides of them. Keeps the engine bay cooler. Operating temps down. But that's it. So we're going to change the oil. I'm gonna change the fuel filters. Eventually, they're, we gotta put belts on this year. I don't have them right now, so we're not gonna tackle that. We're gonna clean the spark arresters, you know, stuff like that, kinda spiffy it up a little bit, just uh, beginning of the season, so here we go. All right, guys, give you a little rundown of how this works. So everyone knows how to change oil. Well, for the most part, there's a drain plug on the bottom of your pan. Take that out at all falls. Well, in a boat, you can't really get to that because you're kind of limited area-wise. So with these, and there's probably other ways to do it, but this is the way that I've done it with this marina for forever. Very good friends of mine, by the way. So you pull the dipstick out, and then you push this rubber hose, and it's disgusting, so I'm not gonna grab it right now. And you put it over there, and it actually, there's a pump that sucks all the oil out. Um, takes about a couple minutes. It's nothing, nothing crazy, so it pulls it all out. Put the dipstick back in and fill up your engine with the appropriate amount of oil. Um, we have oil filters on the back that of course are located sideways so it always makes a mess. So I always need a diaper, I got a pan in here. So we'll do them and then we have fuel filters, they're super easy. Um, Frank at, or Frank, Matt at the marina is uh, getting me a new set of them right now and filling them with fuel so they take care of me here this year we're also going to do belts we're going to do stuff like that but for right now we're just doing oil and fuel filters so then dad could put it in the water we could do the belts at the house so nor we keep it at the marina it's dry docked here normally it's in the backyard on the lift so we could use it whenever we want and then at the end of the year we take it out and it comes and stays here after it gets winterized so uh that's pretty much it so we're going to go ahead and pull some of this flew it out, I'll video that here shortly, just so you guys could see. So we have the line ran through the dipstick, and it's pumping oil. Don't spill it like I did, but you'll have this from time to time. You wait till that's done, and then you move on to the next one. Right, Matt? That's Matt, that's my friend Matt, he works here. Oops, that's been recording the whole time. <laughs> so we got all the oil, the old oil out of it, new filters on, and we have a, we put six quarts in. I'm gonna turn them over, get some oil pressure, let them settle, and then check it again. Uh, we're not firing them today. We're just gonna turn them over, get them spinning again, go from there. Then once we're all done with the oil, then we will jump over to the fuel side of things. So, let me triple check, make sure nothing's in the way. 
All right, everything's good there. Coil wiles wire is off. It'll get there. There we go. That one's got it. And we have oil pressure. So now we'll let them sit. We will check them in a little bit. Actually, while we would let and wait them sit, let them sit, we'll probably do the fuel filters just so we get them done with. And then we'll top off oil and then we're done for the day. Appreciate friends coming out and helping out. They come and enjoy, you know, the boat. So they always want to give a lending hand. So thank you to Nito. It's my pleasure, guys. Nito was the the fine, kind sir that decided to come and help me today. So we're gonna go dump the oil out of this pan and get uh, clean the pan so we can do the, the fuel. It's just like that, we have all fluids changed. Oil, oil filters, fuel filters. Matt is gonna do the drive oil, so I don't have to worry about that. He's also gonna spray mildew stuff in here for me, um, get everything clean off the walls. Boat's probably gonna be in the water by the next time I get down here, so then I'll come in here and I'll really clean everything. He's gonna do belts too, I forgot about that. But uh, I'm getting here with a fine tooth comb and kind of clean everything up. I've been meaning to get this boat home for a bunch of years and you know, like home home. We're an hour away from it, from my normal, from my shop shop. But uh, I've been meaning to get it home and really do the dash in it, you know, upgrade the dash, but. <sighs> I never got to it, but that's it for now. We're going to clean up everything and then I'll go show you guys the house. And this is what we got out back. So the weather has turned clearly and it's not that great, but we got our pool. We're right on the water. So this place gets hopping in the summertime. You'll, have, you'll see, you guys will see a bunch of videos from here. Here's the boat lift that the fountain normally is on. Uh, the jet skis go there, and then we have a friend. Actually, you guys don't know Jeff yet, but you will. Jet ski lift. So, we have some pretty big parties. We have a lot of fun out here. So, stay tuned. But that's it. This is uh, entry into my life in the summertime. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.